Welcome to Real Talk with Jordan Riley, where the real talk does not come from me. It comes directly from God's Word. And before we get started today, please consider subscribing to our channel, giving this a thumbs up, and supporting what we do by going to realtalkwithjordan.com. On today's episode, we're going to do something a little bit different because too many times we get into who's false and who's good and, you know, what does the Bible say? And sometimes we just don't have any fun. So today we're going to have a lot of fun. My son, Kazen, who is our editor here at Real Talk, has put together an amazing episode for you guys full of things that will make you laugh. This is a blooper reel. So I want you just to sit back and relax and see the lighter side of me messing up because it takes a lot to do what we do here at Real Talk. And there's a lot of times where I'm frustrated and I can't speak a word, I can't pronounce something, I get it wrong, I quote the wrong verse, and I want you guys to sit back and laugh and enjoy it. So are you ready? Let's go. Well, welcome to Real Talk with Jordan Riley, where the real talk doesn't come from me, it comes from the Word of God. On today's episode, we're going to talk about false teachers and why they're false teachers. Let's go. Welcome to Real Talk with Jordan Riley. The real talk does not come from me. It comes directly from God's word. And before we get started today, would you please consider subscribing to our channel and giving this a thumbs up. On today's episode, we're gonna look at people who claim that God is trans. We're gonna tackle the top five male false teachers. Are Catholics saved? Looking at Beth Moore, false teacher Todd White. So are you ready? Let's go. On this episode of Real Talk, we're gonna discuss the contrary. Well, you guys gotta be right there. Come on, dude. We, yeah, Real Talk, boom, you're in. Right. Sexual revolution. It's all about sex. That happened in the 1960s and 1970s. Then in verse 26, six, sorry, slip of the tongue. In verse 26, it says, God gave them over to degrading passion. Now I'm gonna think about that all the time. He sent him through a virgin, through the Mary, the virgin. Dang it, son of a biscuit. Welcome to Rico. <laughs> Try to get. I'll just keep going. Let's go. Keep going. <laughs> Shoot. That sucks. However, the one thing I'm talking about is taking all those and many others because it's. Sheesh. Bruh. On today's episode, we're gonna have a freak, a freak. Aww, freak out. <clears throat> and before we get started today, please consider subscribing to our channel, giving this a thumbs up, and supporting us, son of a gun, I forgot to do that. <clears throat> Three days later. On today's episode, you're gonna hear what happened to Hollywood actor Jim Caviezel, who many of you know played Jesus in the movie Passion of the Christ, and more recently was the star of the show. <clears throat> on today's episode, we're gonna... To... Come on! More moments later. On today's episode, we're gonna discuss one of the, <laughs> dang it, discuss one of the things most people don't really like to talk about. Let's try that again. And supporting what we do by going to realtalkwithjordan.com. On today's episode, we're gonna discuss, <clears throat> I can't say discuss. On today's episode, we're gonna discuss one of the most, <sighs> I can't say it, I'm sure why. Number five is when. <clears throat> I can't do this. I can't, I can't do this at all. And supporting what we do by going to realtalkwithjordan.com. On today's episode, I'm going to have a frank discussion. 
is already written and contained in his word. Hebrews chapter one, verses one and two. Also, let's do that again. Dang it. Well, you think that you would subscribe to our channel and give it a thumbs up. And on today's episode, I'm going to share with you several reasons while the new, dang it. Welcome to Real Talk with Jordan Riley, where the real talk does not come from me, it comes directly from God's word. And before we get started, I'm asking you would start this from the very beginning. Jesus revolution, and I'm just stumbling over my words today. <clears throat> now, first of all, I wanna say right in the front gate. Suck it. Go back from that video. When it comes to participating in Halloween, I want you to ask, it says that when all we do, we should bring glory to God. We should do it for the glory of God. Dang it. Come on now, dog. I believe we need to ask ourselves three questions before making the try. Come on, man. Let me be very clear that in the clip that you just saw and in the ones you will see, I believe that God is gracious and you're gonna see his mercy and compassion be extended to people. Let me be clear that in the clip that you saw and those that you will see, I believe you will see. Let me be clear that in the clip. That's what they believe. They believe that if you say, hey, you know what? We're saved by grace through faith and that's it. You're out. Go away. You're not in the club anymore. You're not in the church. You're going to hell. And that's wrong. That's not biblical. Again, said no verse ever. So, Catholic, if you know a Catholic, if you've ever wondered about the Catholic, uh, for the love. Well, thanks for watching that blooper reel. I hope it made you laugh as you saw the lighter side of real talk and realizing that I am not perfect and I mess up quite a bit. But on a more serious note, I wanna thank you guys, those of you who have helped support us financially. It's helped us to get a new camera. It's helped us to build a new PC but I want to be honest with you guys that Kazen and I spend so much money and so much time on this ministry, which we love. We love bringing you the truth of God's word. We love exposing false teachers and seeing people set free from deception, but it takes time and it does cost money. And so if you feel led to be able to give, if you're able to give, would you go to realtalkwithjordan.com and hit the PayPal link and be able to support us, whether it's a one-time gift or a monthly you know, gift, that's fine, it doesn't matter. I don't care if it's $5 or $5,000, it doesn't matter. Every penny will go to help do what we do. Please understand that we want to keep serving you. We want to keep serving the body of Christ, but it takes the body to work together. And so we also have Venmo and Cash App. If you want to know those links, feel free to message me personally, send me an email, get in touch with me. I'm happy to let you know. But please understand, we love you guys. We want to keep pointing you to Christ. We want to keep telling you exactly what God's word says. So thank you. Until next time, take care and God bless.